Hi, my name is Dr. Matt Gardner. I'm one of the chemistry professors at Chapman University. And I wanted to share a little bit about the progression that we uh, pride ourselves in that our students take throughout the chemistry lab sequences. Uh, initially, they start in general chemistry where they learn basic lab skills and lab safety items. Uh, some of those basic lab skills go along with balance use, uh, using correct glassware, how to use pipettes, how to use volumetric glassware, how to use graduated glassware. Uh, in addition to that, we have kind of basic safety uh, techniques that they learn and precautions that they take of how to use uh, PPE correctly, how to correctly wear goggles and lab coats, why we wear them, when do we wear uh, gloves. Uh, in addition to that, we think about what are the hazards that go into a lab? What are the flammable hazards? What are the acid or base possible hazards that we'd see or acute hazards that we'd have with reagents that we have? And the students get trained in those in their first year. Then they move on to the second year, which would be our organic chemistry sequence, where then they learn correct usage of things like fume hoods uh, and how to think about flammables that relate to reagents that they have uh, and how to correctly dispose of those in, those in waste containers and where they would go. Uh, and that's the next step in their safety progression. And then after that, they uh, continue on to their upper division classes. Now in that organic chemistry uh, course, they also learn some really important uh, safety skills uh, and laboratory skills. Some of those lab skills are how to do a distillation, different syntheses that they think about in their uh, lab course and the reagents that they have and the reactions that they're looking at. They also consider and think about how do they separate mixtures, how do they purify substances, how do they then assess how pure something is, looking at boiling points or melting points of specific uh, analytes of interest that they're trying to identify. The lab technician for physical chemistry specifically is Janelli, um, and she has been absolutely wonderful. She checks in with me regularly. And then they go on and they'll take their upper division courses, uh, courses like physical chemistry, where they focus on kind of computational analysis as well as kind of using high tech uh, and high advanced instrumentation. Uh, and then in the analytical chemistry sequence, they also prepare themselves for industry or also graduate school as they think about using various instruments like HPLC or GCMS or ICP. Uh, these are different instruments that they're exposed to, how to use them. Then they create their own research project that then gets them as like the culmination of their research experience, preparing them either for graduate school or industry, where then they kind of move forward and they have the ability to apply those skills after they graduate. I'm really honored to be both a Goldwater Scholar and a Beckman Scholar here at Chapman. I would definitely say that I would not have received any of these honors without my experiences at Chapman. And I was very lucky to have um, just fantastic mentorship in the major and in my intro classes um, where I really started to realize that I was capable of pursuing science and doing really well in it. The Keck Center definitely um, has been really transformative in allowing me to do really cutting edge research um, just because we have access to such fantastic facilities. Another great thing about Keck is I think the fact that we have glass windows um, looking into each lab. Um, so some of the labs are just complete walls and that goes for teaching labs and also research labs. And what's really cool about that is you feel kind of connected to people doing other research because you get to see what's going on in their labs. You get to see the physics labs. You get to see what everyone's doing. And I think that's really cool. The research culture of Chapman is really unique compared to a lot of other schools. Um, the culture here is very collaborative um, and you're working directly with your faculty because of the lack of graduate students. And throughout the lab sequence here at Chapman University in chemistry, there is a, a kind of a level of progression that they take in order to improve, learn, grow in their not only safety skills, but also laboratory skills, and then how they would apply those, which really helps them prepare for their career, whether that is through the path of graduate school, whether it's going directly into industry or other various uh, applications and places that they may take themselves.